I'm Jared Chambers and here we are today in a very stressed soybean field. There's a lot of fields looking like this in southern Manitoba. So what is the stress on the soybean field? Well, it's called iron deficiency chlorosis, also known as IDC. This IDC can have a major impact on the yield potential of your crop. So we need to act on this right away before more yield is being robbed. Now why did IDC happen in this field and in so many parts of southern Manitoba this year? And it's really due to the six variables that drive iron deficiency chlorosis. It's high pH soils, it's high bicarbonate levels, high salt levels, um, also a high level of nitrate nitrogen, excess water, and maybe a high level of other nutrients such as manganese or copper. So how are we going to overcome and address this IDC that is happening today? Well, what we need is we need to put on a form of iron that is available for the plant. And this is an ortho-ortho EDDHA, also known as soy green. We need to spray it onto the crop within the next week. Spray it on even in combination with our glyphosate spray if it's Roundup Ready crops. It needs to go on at 1.75 liters per acre. 10 to 15 gallons of water and probably a water conditioner such as modify if you have hard water. Now in a severe case of IDC like this field has, we probably need to go on 7 to 10 days again with a second application at 1.75 liters per acre. Now if you're not sure if you're getting value out of your soya green, you can always leave a check strip. But the key thing is we don't want to rob ourselves a yield. Let's stay proactive, let's address this issue, and let's try to drive the genetic potential of the soybean crop. To learn more about IDC or soya green or the entire line of ATP products, go to atpnutrition.ca today. Thank you.